In its 5-2 majority judgment, the Supreme Court held that the directive by the Food and Drugs Authority was not unreasonable and excessive, adding that it didn't contravene the provisions of the Constitution. The FDA, in its guidelines for the advertisement of foods published on February 1, 2016, stipulates that no well-known personality or professional shall be used in alcoholic beverage advertising. The authority explained that the guideline was necessary to prevent minors from becoming addicted to alcohol due to the influence of celebrities. The FDA further noted that the ban was in adherence with a policy by the World Health Organization and also part of efforts to protect children and young people from being lured into alcoholism. But McDallington, in his suit against the FDA directive, was praying for the Apex Court to hold the directive unconstitutional as it violated the right against discrimination as guaranteed by Article 17 of the 1992 Constitution. Nia Foleyate, who represented the plaintiff, expressed disappointment at the decision. We don't agree with the outcome, but we have to take it as it is. Um, the first time we talked to them, I think it came up as, let's say, a famous uh, musician, let's say, a Sakwari or Stone or anybody, is after years of doing music, they want to start their own, let's say, the, the beer company. They can't do that. You know, there's oh. things that we haven't really, we don't really know the limitations properly. So this is more or less not even to win or lose. It was more or less to have clear um, indications or clear, uh, what a clear picture is as to what musicians can do and cannot do when it comes to working with brands. Director of Legal and Corporate Affairs at the Food and Drugs Authority, Joseph Benny, noted that they are open to working things out with celebrities. We are open to them. And we would have expected that they would have even come to us for a discussion instead of coming to court. But it's, yeah, it's everybody's right to go to court. And we appreciate that. In fact, it's a decision that will guide everybody. It's good the Supreme Court has pronounced on this so that it will guide all of us in our So we are very happy about that. President of the Arts and Tourism Writers Association of Ghana, George Kwe, expressed utter shock, adding that the FDA's directive was not helpful. If I attend an event and it's been sponsored by a what did you win? If I sit on radio and I read an album, what did you do? You understand? And then they would say, you cannot put an alcoholic beverage billboard within 200 meters of a school. When I'm taking my kids to school, do we fly? Do we fly from my house to that school? Do you know the number of alcoholic beverage billboards that I'll see on the road? When we stop in traffic, do I know what my kids are reading? So did you win or lose? It's in the newspapers. My kids will read newspapers. So really, what did you gain? I think that FD really needs to, you know, I think they're in some kind of a box. It would be good if they came out. Let us sit, let us draw, draw and let us find a common ground. This decision by the Supreme Court tentatively means that no well-known person or celebrity, as well as a professional, can partake in the endorsement or advertisement of alcoholic products or may face the full rigors of the law. Lodi Dwasari, TVP News, Supreme Court.